Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. King Charles III has never looked up to his younger brother Prince Andrew, according to a royal expert. The king was never a great admirer of Andrew, even in the palmy days, royal correspondent Michael Cole told Sky News Australia this week. At one stage, the king wanted him to move out to the lesser Frogmore Cottage. The journalist added that there is not a great deal of love lost between the monarch and the Duke of York, since a bitter dispute over the latter's residence erupted earlier this year. Charles, 74, booted the disgraced royal from Buckingham Palace in January, after he was famously stripped of his royal and military honors by their late mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Andrew, 63, has been scrutinized for his alleged friendship with disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein. The king reportedly told his younger sibling that there is no longer any place for him at the official royal residence when he kicked him out. Charles not only evicted Andrew from the palace, but also from his offices there. The Duke has since sought refuge at his other royal residence, the plush $46 million property called Royal Lodge. However, conflict arose after Andrew hired builders to do some much-needed repairs on the dam and mold problems at the property he still shares with ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. Initially, the Duke claimed he couldn't afford to do the work on the 30-room property, which comes with a swimming pool and tennis court. Charles was then going to use Andrew's plea of poverty to push him out in favor of someone who could afford to do the repair work. Now, that excuse is gone. In an added effort to convince Andrew to move, Charles offered him Frogmore Cottage, the five-bedroom house from which Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were evicted. The ordeal has reportedly left Charles feeling tired and furious. Andrew doesn't want to leave because the property is seen as a symbol of senior royalty, an important property in the family's portfolio, a royal source told Page Six in April. The Duke of York has also lost his patronages and was barred from using the His Royal Highness moniker last year. His mother broke the news to him face to face, however, he is still allowed to use the titles Royal Knight of the Garter and a Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order.